Welcome into Miami Dolphins today. I am your host, R.C. Maxfield. And before we get into the roster cuts for the Dolphins to get down to 80, there is some great news coming out on the offensive side of the football today as Will Fuller returned to practice. The star offseason addition for the Miami Dolphins returned to practice on Tuesday after a lower body injury that he sustained early in training camp. He will miss the season opener because of that previous PED suspension that he had with the Dolphins, but good to have Wolf Fuller back. Now, it wasn't in full capacity. The Dolphins just went through a walkthrough, but he was on the field afterwards catching balls from Tua Tungavailoa alongside Devontae Parker as well. But why is this a big deal? Will Fuller back in action for the Miami Dolphins brings a new element to this offense. As you can see by his stats in 2020, he is the epitome of a deep threat in the NFL with a long touchdown catch of 77 yards last year. Would have had a thousand yards if it wasn't for the previously mentioned PED suspension, but Fuller is one of those guys that adds an element to the Miami Dolphins offense that Tua hasn't had, or Ryan Fitzpatrick for that matter, in a few years. You think about the guys on this offense right now when it comes to Jalen Waddle, who can do kind of everything, but Devontae Parker comes back as well, and now this adds a different element that Tua hasn't had in the preseason in the sense that he has a guy on the outside that can be that big body and go out and catch those passes on the outside against the corner, 50-50 balls if you want to call him that, and Devontae Parker back at practice as well where he was doing the same thing as Will Fuller where he was out there with Tua catching passes after practice and running sprints to try and get back into in game shape, excuse me, but this is awesome to see just because the wide receivers are slowly getting healthy. You think about what Tua has had to deal with just from the wide receiver position this preseason. It's been uh, kind of ugly in the sense that you've had those Isaiah Fords of the world having to play significant snaps. Jakeem Grant, who was on the roster bubble, but probably squarely on the team now. There was a lot of injuries on this team, including Albert Wilson as well. And Jalen Waddell had that scare in preseason game two. But having Wolf Fuller back in the conversation and back at practice, at least on a limited basis, can go a long way to show that, hey, he's going to be ready for week two when he's off of that PED suspension. And Devontae Parker will be ready for week one. But I want to ask you before we get into the roster cuts, what's your favorite Miami Dolphins win ever? It can go back to Dan Marino. We can throw Chad Pennington in there. Don't kill me in the comments for bringing him up. But just let me know what your favorite Miami Dolphins win ever is. This will be the pinned comment. So you're going to get a YouTube ad break right here. Go down to the comments and post your favorite Miami Dolphins win ever. Notable cuts to date in terms of what the Miami Dolphins have to do and where they have to get in their 53-man roster right now. They're at 80, and they had to cut three players today to get to that number. But the first one that they cut was probably the most interesting one to me just because of the offensive line and really a lot of lack of consistency that they've had. This is Jeremiah Illuminor. And you look at what he did last year, not great, right? He allowed three sacks, but the Miami Dolphins need depth and just opportunity on that offensive line. Looking at the offensive line that they've been running with for the past few days in practice, it's been updated. I saw the comments. Yes, Eichenberg is not at left guard anymore. I get it. He's at right tackle. Got to give us time. We officially got that now. But Kinley is going to probably be the left guard for this team. You look at it across from left to right, Jackson, Kinley, Dieter, Hunt, and Davis. That's probably going to be your offensive line in week one in New England against the Patriots when you start off your 2021 campaign. With Illuminor, it was interesting to me because he was on the first team in terms of taking first team reps early in camp. This went downhill very, very quickly for him in terms of not even making it to the 53-man cut date. Now, this is just interesting, again, because you trade for Greg Little. Maybe that's what this was. They didn't like what they saw for Illuminor, and Greg Little was just their replacement for him. BetUS, today's video sponsor. They have the best deposit bonus in the game right now. All you have to do is go to chatsports.com slash bet. Type in the promo code DOLPHINS125 to get a 125% deposit bonus. Again, there's no need to even go look on the internet anywhere else. This is the best deposit bonus in the game. I can promise you that. All you have to do is go to chatsports.com, type in the promo code DOLPHINS125, and let's say you put $100 in your account, right? They're going to give you a 125 on top of your 100 to have 225 total. That'll last you throughout the whole season. And hey, they have some great bets over there on your Miami Dolphins. So be sure to head over to chatsports.com and use the promo code slash bet, excuse me, chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code DOLPHINS125. 
Speaking of wide receivers, the Miami Dolphins uh, cut a few and placed one on IR. The first notable one, Isaiah Ford. It seems like every offseason the Miami Dolphins cut this man. It's you think he'd go somewhere else at this point, but here we are again in 2021. Isaiah Ford last year was solid. He had 28 catches for 276 yards, no TDs, and a catch long enough for 18 yards. But you think about what he brought to the Miami Dolphins in training camp. It was just a body at this point. We talked about the injuries early on. It seems like every year they bring him in, cut him, and then by week four or five when they need a wide receiver, you hear his name brought up again, and it wouldn't surprise me if we're in that position again this year. Another wide receiver that the Miami Dolphins waived today is Robert Foster out of Alabama last year. Only had two catches for 37 yards. Might remember him from his time in Buffalo where he was a deep threat for the Bills. But really, again, another just roster casualty in the sense that he was there for depth. And once these guys got healthy in the Will Fullers, the Devontae Parkers, the Albert Wilsons, he was going to be out the door, right? You're probably only going to have six wide receivers on this roster. Robert Wilson was a very much a long shot. And today, well, his time ends in Miami. But there was one more wide receiver news of note. Lynn Bowden Jr. was placed on IR. And this one's interesting to me just for the sheer fact that he was in the running to potentially be the punt returner and kick returner for the Miami Dolphins. There was some Heat out of camp early in terms of Jakeem Grant might get cut, the all-pro punt returner. But now that Bowden is on IR, I think this supplants Jakeem Grant on the roster firmly, and will, he will be the punt and kick returner for the Miami Dolphins moving forward. Taking a look at the wide receiver depth chart, nice to see that you have Devontae Parker and Will Fuller back at practice. And Albert Wilson came out and even caught some balls from Tua after practice or the abbreviated practice and walk through today. But you notice that Hearns and Bowden are both on IR. I would probably suspect that Mac Hollins makes this roster as well. And then Malcolm Perry probably goes to the practice squad. But right now you're looking at your wide receivers and don't be surprised that the Dolphins go out and potentially search the trade market here in terms of trading one of those wide receivers for maybe an offensive lineman that was going to get cut, and it's a you know swap of guys that could potentially get cut. But I do overall think this is a good sign for the Miami Dolphins in the sense you have Parker back at practice, you have Will Fuller back at practice, and limited capacity, of course, as well as Albert Wilson. That is huge for the Miami Dolphins moving forward in the sense that Tua and those guys need to build those reps early and often as possible before week one when they head up to New England. But hey, let me know. Which cut surprised you the most out of the three for the Miami Dolphins? I don't think anybody's going to be surprised by the wide receiver cut in the sense that you had so many on the roster that some had to go, right? For me, this is pretty easy. The most surprising cut is Illuminor in the sense that you need offensive linemen just to have a chance on this roster, just for the sheer fact that you've had a lot of guys mix and match this year. But Illuminor was one of those guys, as I mentioned earlier, that ran with the first team early and often in training camp, but now he's cut. I think that goes a long way to show how they feel about Grant Little and that trade that they made with the Carolina Panthers just a few days ago.